What is up tech gang, Stefan here from TechRite. Today I'm going to be showing you a few simple ways on how to improve your battery life on your LG Stylo 4. Stay tuned. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that I actually look at uh, when saving battery life in really any circumstance is Wi-Fi. And if you see over here, location. Now, a lot of the time, you know, I have family members that actually have Wi-Fi on when they're outside of the house. And it's going to be constantly actually looking for a, a connection to connect to the Wi-Fi. So if you guys actually want to save a lot more battery life, you can turn that off every single time you leave the house. I know some people forget, but if you do remember, turn that off and use your regular data. Because obviously, if you have the Wi-Fi on, it's going to be continuously looking for um, different connections to connect to and that's going to be wasting your battery life next thing i want to talk about is location as well that's another thing if you don't need to use your location if you're not using google maps if you're not using any of that turn that off because that is going to waste your battery next place we're going to go ahead and go to to save battery on our lg stylo 4 is going to the settings now obviously our display comes into play when we're talking about battery life if you have it on full brightness 24 7 you are going to drain your battery you know faster obviously so if you go inside or if you're in lower light conditions obviously turning down your brightness manually like that will save you a lot a lot of battery life next thing we're going to be talking about is the display since we're talking about the display brightness uh, actually turning down the display resolution will save you some battery as well so natively when we get the phone it's on high so we're at 2160 by 1080p now if you go down to 1440 by 720p click apply right there and it says to change the screen resolution your phone will start so let's go ahead and click restart and as you guys see, the phone restarted uh, really doesn't lack too much when we go down to 720p. Honestly, I can't tell the difference between 1080p and 720p either way. Um, but we are going to save a lot more battery life in the long run. Next thing is going to be in the settings. So let's go to settings. And this time it's actually going to be in battery. I know surprising we didn't even go into this. So a few quick tips. You know, a lot of people actually don't have this on. So they don't see the percentage. If you guys want to have that on, you have to click turn on percentage and you're going to see your battery percentage at the top of your phone right by the time and right in between your data as well and the last thing i want to take a look at is actually a battery saver now this is under the power saving tab right here obviously we're going to want to click on battery saver and right here it says extended and it says maximum it says extend your battery life when the battery gets low save battery by reducing the phone's performance and restricting what apps can do in the background select a mode and choose what features to restrict to ensure you receive notifications from important apps select the apps in settings battery power saving exclusions so as we have off right now it says we have 147 hours now let's go all the way to maximum now it says the background and other visual elements will be in black wi-fi bluetooth and location may be turned off now those are the three big things that i was talking about before that if you turn off it's going to save you a lot of battery so let's go ahead and turn this maximum mode on and you're going to get a little loading bar right here and boom there you guys go everything turns black and I actually know a lot of people that love this mode um they love everything dark dark theme they love their twitter dark theme youtube dark theme they like all of that so i know a lot of people who actually like themes like this so, you know if this is your cup of tea either way then you can just leave this on and you can you know have a phone that's a battery beast last quick tip i want to talk about is just basically a you know this is really for any phone any phone that you get in the future um and this is very very prominent in budget phones because you know the batteries in budget phones aren't always the best i mean you pay for what you get instead of a budget phone but to actually make your phone's battery last longer because believe it or not the battery is probably the first thing to go on one of these budget phones uh, as it has been in the past on other budget phones that i've used but if you actually want to save a phone and make it last longer let it age longer instead of that one or two years maybe you want it for three or four years you're very low on you know on funds and stuff for phone and you just want it to last well a lot of the time people love to have their phone at a hundred percent um always and uh, i know that's my pet peeve too i hate when it's under a hundred percent i never want to leave my house if it's under a hundred percent 
Um, but the thing that you have to understand is you have to let your phone drain out. You know, if you go ahead and plug your, you keep plugging your uh, phone in and it's charging back, it's going to ruin your battery. I know people that will charge up to 100 and it will drain down to like 90 and they'll plug it back in or whatever. Don't do that. That's going to mess up your battery in the long run. Uh, honestly, I would let it run down to 30. If it's an emergency, obviously plug it in. But um, don't charge back your battery because you will mess it up in the long run. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you guys are not a part of the tech gang already. Also hit that notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a video. Without further ado, this has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.